Okay, everyone, I'm gonna make a video on installing a wireless featured remote for your winch. There's the kit. You get the controller the receiver module, which is mated to the controller. I'm replacing mine, but you have a receiver in it because they're mated to each other. You can't just like reprogram them in a learn mode. And, I, and you get a new cable with the kit. So that's the kit. The reason I'm putting another one in is this one quit out. First thing we're gonna need is a 2.5 millimeter Allen wrench. At least that's what mine takes, a 2.5. There's a couple of screws. I decided to mount mine this way, all right? You can mount the relay a different way. I mounted mine this way. I got my wires climbing up here a little bit because I didn't like how it looked on the spool. I didn't want to get in too close. So that's how I did mine. But you can mount it on the side of the motor if you want. So, if you look, there's a little screw that secures it there. Okay, right here. And we're gonna loosen that up. There's two of them back there. There's nothing in the front, it kind of just wedges it. So we're gonna loosen those up. Box pushes towards the screws. Then I'm gonna pull it down. I'm gonna bring it up out of there. Okay, mine's a little stiff because of those, those wires are kinda, kinda large. And I have a zip tie over here. I have a zip tie over there, securing the wires to the brace, which I'm going to clip so I can get more room. Okay, we got that clipped. I'll lift that up. And as you can see, Zoom in here. There's four screws. I might not be able to see them all, but there's four screws there. We're going to take those out. And we're going to use a power tool, but you don't have to. cover this is not a, I did not do a practice run so we'll see uh, how easy this comes off it's a little grabbing here in the front feels like this is squeezing it but it's coming out of there the switch is over here that turns on the wireless so I'm gonna roll it that way okay So here's what we got. Get you out of there. There's our wireless module that we're gonna replace. Looks like it's just on with sticky tape. And all the connectors double up in here, it looks like. All right, so let's, uh, Undo this one, and we'll get the new one okay, ready. I'm just install. gonna kind of use my knife and just you know work that off of there. Now I fly racing drones and all kind of stuff like that, and I use this stuff here, and I'll tell you this stuff's good. 
this stuff works really good. So this is what I'm going to use as a double sided tape helps. Now it looks like my new one has an extra wire here. If you look, that's an antenna. Okay. So that goes to nothing. All the other ones have leads. So they plug right in. So this should be easy. Now you guys can do one at a time or you can write it down. I chose to write it down. Give it a little tug. Well, it looks like it came right off. Well, it looks like it came off the splitter. You guys see that? There's like a little splitter there, so we're gonna have to get that off of there. Let's see how, let's see if we can do that. Maybe get under here. And maybe give it a little push, there we go. Like I said, if you're not comfortable with wires, do one at a time. I jotted down where mine go. All right, I'm gonna unplug these other ones. I use that. I don't know if you guys can see. See how I use that screwdriver to give that a little nudge, and then they we're off. We're out of there. old one. And I'm going to promptly get this. I'm going to route it under just like they had it. I'm going to go ahead and plug that in until I hear it click. Plug that in until it clicks. I'm going to add some dielectric grease to mine. I have a couple different kinds. You know, that's what, that's what I'm going to do. Get that, uh, Clip's okay. I'm gonna give this one a little, just a gentle little squeeze there. Tighten that baby up. There we go. That's better. I want on nice and snug. These are, these are pretty good. These are kind of snug. That one was a little, not quite to my liking. My double-sided tape. And we're good. And I see why they glued it to here instead of this, because if you need to replace this, this thing can just sit here. So we're good to go there. And also I'd recommend double checking those while you're in here. Double check, make sure those look good, make sure they're tight. Make sure everything's okay here. If you need a new switch, now's the time to do it. If your switch acts a little goofy, because they're known to go bad. And uh, I'm going to dress these wires up a little. How they had them. They had like a little zip tie in there. Guess I'll have a lot more range. None of this stuff is sealed because this is waterproof and that's waterproof, so that doesn't need to be sealed. And uh, we'll change the angle on the camera. There's a little ribs here, see them? This control box has a little bit of room, but not much. 
This is not centered, as you can see, to where it's more centered between this instead of centered on that, okay? See, we got it kind of centered there. Now, I'm gonna stick it down there. There we go. Okay. That. So as you roll your wire, see, don't want no binding, nothing to pull, nothing that'll want to pull the wires apart. So I got that wedged there. Got a little tug on that, okay? Because those, it's going down real snug right there. There we go. Okay, everyone, so here's what I'm thinking. Before we secure this, while we got everything apart, maybe we should try it, make sure it works, okay? So I'm going to release the clutch because I had some tension on here, and I'm going to pull this out just in case I turn it on and she starts taking off, okay? Because for some reason, if she starts taking off and wants to you know, bring that in, when I turn on the power, I'll have time to turn that power back off, all right? So, in fact, it might be a good idea to release, release the clutch. So we're gonna lock that. I'm gonna lock the clutch though, because I already tried it, I already know it works. I know I'm cheating. We're gonna go ahead and turn that on. And we're gonna turn on our switch. And uh, let's try to run it out first. Okay, she's going out, that's, that's good, right? Let's try to run her in. Nice, looking good. And it turns off and on. I'm gonna turn my switch off and it turns off and on, unlike the other one. So we're good to go there. So let's go ahead and put our screws in. All right, I'm gonna put the screws in. Not sure what's a good angle. We'll, we'll use this, we'll try this angle here. All right. Like I said, I don't like using power tools for assembly. So we have a hand screwdriver. I got that thing pushed down good, feels nice. My cables are under a lot of stress. So I can't move this a lot. know my rope's all dirty and all that. I know that. I uh, take it out. I have a little uh, thing I put it on. And I power wash it and clean it up really good. And then I rewrap it. They recommend a thousand pounds load. Yes, I said a thousand pounds on this one. So we're going to make sure we got these I got it to where it's about as loose as it can go, if you can see. And again, this control box came out other places. I like it here. I think it looks cool. See that little hook there? It needs to go under this. So we're gonna have to loosen that up a little to get it to do that. But not too much because this little plate will fall out. So I'm going to put my finger there and I'm going to feel to where I run out of threads. Okay, I'm about out. We're looking, we 
are looking good, folks. We're going to turn that on. We're going to turn on the switch. And we are looking good. Well, if you saw that last video, picking up the front of the Jeep, let's do something crazy. Let's try to pick up a whole four-door Jeep. Let's see if it can do it, folks. What do you think? How about that? That is one strong winch. And that's one strong bubba rope I got on there, too. No wonder that grill's grumpy.